What's up guys, welcome back to the channel I hope you guys are well and I hope you all had one amazing week so far So today I'm back at Webuy Cars at the Brackenfall branch in Cape Town As you can see in the background In today's video we are going to take a look at vehicles between 50,000 Rand and 60,000 Rand Keep in mind you cannot finance these vehicles And what I mean by that is you can't buy these vehicles through FNB, Nedbank, Standard Bank, all those major banks And they will have green decker stickers Meaning they either need minor or major repairs to pass a road worthy test And at the end of today's video we have a bonus car so Stick around for the bonus car and let's see what vehicles we can find today and we buy cars between 50,000 Rand and 60,000 Rand. Cheers. Hey, my first POV video. Okay. Just gonna try to do a U turn right here. And, um, guys, honestly, I have to say the drive to We Buy Cars from my home is about 50 kilometers. Yeah, 50 kilometers, so it's quite a distance from my home to get to We Buy Cars to do videos. But you know, as long as these videos are helping people, you know, that is what car guys all about, helping people to find vehicles. And I need to get myself a little GoPro, man, for doing these POV videos. And I like to drive in silence, man. I'm that type of guy. I like to drive in silence with no radio. I will definitely play music like maybe I'm a piano or your Rick Ross or your Drake. I'm here we buy cars. Getting ready to do today's video. Guys, just keep in mind, like I said, none of these cars can be financed. And one thing that we buy cars offer on the cheap vehicles is that you can buy those cars through the Capitec loan. That is what they call uh the capitec finance it's basically a capitec vehicle loan it's not a full-on finance thank you Azay. So guys let's see what cars we can find today at we buy cars on the ballard and it's actually an 1800 Lux line. Yo, sounds muy. Yes, sis. So guys, the first car for today is this 2010 BMW 320i E90. And this car is powered by a 2 liter motor that puts out 115 kilowatts with a 0 to 100 time of 9.8 seconds. All its power are being sent to the rear wheels via a 6 speed automatic gearbox. And this is a new arrival at WeBuy Cars. So it has a starting bidding price of 54,000 Rand. It has 248,362 kilometers on the clock. Bear in mind, none of these cars can be financed. It has a green decor sticker because the rear view mirror is loose the rear right tire is smooth and also the windscreen is damaged as you can see the headlight lenses are faded quite badly but this car is riding on 17 inch wheels wrapped with dunlop tires all around it has smashing grab windows honestly this car just needs a respray because the paint has damaged over the years and honestly in my opinion this is quite a beautiful color i mean the car just needs a respray like i said because here's no major scratches or dents this car has front and rear parking sensors and let's see how the car looks from the inside because guys this car is quite neat from the inside as well so it has front and rear electric windows with electric mirrors power steering air conditioning full LED interior with cruise control voice control and like i said that is a six speed automatic gearbox and i'm not quite sure whether this car has bluetooth i think so yeah but anyway so as you can see that's how the car looks from the rear the interior is in good condition and for some odd reason this thing doesn't want to close no idea why but like i said guys this car is powered by a two liter motor that puts out 115 kilowatts with a 0 to 100 time of 9.8 seconds and at least according to the decor report this car has no mechanical issues so no water leaks no engine oil leaks it doesn't have a full service history with a fuel consumption of eight liters per hundred kilometers so yeah this is pretty much the first car for today 
second car and we buy cars is this 2008 VW Z Trendline. It has a 1.6 liter motor that puts out only 75 kilowatts with a 0 to 100 time of 12.2 seconds. All its power are being sent to the front wheels via a 5 speed manual gearbox and this car has a starting bidding price of 55,000 Rand. It has 199,250 kilometers on the clock and the reason for the green decor sticker is because both the front CV boots are damaged, both the front lower control arm bushes are torn and the rear bumper is cracked. It's riding on 16 inch wheels wrapped with hand cooked tires you will notice that these plastic wheels are curved quite badly the rear wheels are wrapped with good right tires this car has indicators on the door mirrors with smash and grab windows and honestly this car is actually in good condition and some people actually prefer the rear look of the jetta 5 over the jetta 6 it has a crack on the rear bumper as stated on the decor report with the rear tow bar so as you can see from this side this car is actually in good condition so Let's see how the car looks from the inside. Okay, so it has electric windows, electric mirrors with power steering, air conditioning, a five-speed manual gearbox. Another thing I want to show you guys is that the material on the rear doors are torn quite badly and it has a huge hole here in the roof. Yeah, but overall the interior is in good condition and like I said, this car is powered by a 1.6 liter motor that puts out 75 kilowatts with a 0 to 100 time of 12.2 seconds and at least from the Decra report, they don't say this car has any mechanical issues so no water leaks, no engine oil leaks and I'm trying to see if I can see any weird um, oil sweat from the motor and this water bottle looks brand new but yeah guys this car has a full service history and a fuel consumption of 7.2 liters per 100 kilometers so yeah this is the second car for today the third vehicle for today is this 1998 Toyota Taz powered by a 1.3 liter motor that puts out only 55 kilowatts with a 0 to 100 time of 14.1 seconds so this car is super slow but it sends all its little power to the little front wheels via a 5 speed manual gearbox and it's going for 57,900 Rand it has just under 160,000 kilometers on the clock the reason for the green decor sticker is because the engine is leaking oil the bonnet lever is broken and also the windscreen is cracked and it's riding on 13 inch wheels wrapped with brand new Dunlop tires the left rear wheel that particular wheel is the only wheel with a different tire brand that is a regal tire but overall guys this car is in great condition i can't even tell whether it had a respray from the driver's side as well this car is in great condition i don't see any scratches no dents and the paint hasn't even faded over the years but as you can see the vehicle is locked but like i said it has a five speed manual gearbox no air conditioning no power steering manual windows and manual mirrors and this car has no service history with a fuel consumption of 10 17 liters per 100 kilometers so this car is quite heavy on fuel for a 1300 vehicle and also i can't tell whether this is the oil from this particular vehicle but guys this is another option for today before we move on to the next vehicle this toyota taz has the same cash price as this toyota aurus but this car has almost 300,000 kilometers on the clock and i'm just doing a quick walk around you guys can see how this car look so that is the cash price and the mileage and i want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below will you prefer a high mileage toyota orders over a low mileage toyota test let me know in the comment section down below in my opinion this car is not in good condition in fact the toyota test is in better condition than this toyota orders this car is going to be locked as you can see right there and also this fender is loose but like I said guys, this car has the same cash price, but almost 300,000 kilometers on the clock. If you want to be that guy that wants to say that you drive a Mercedes, but you have a low budget, they got this beautiful blue Mercedes-Benz C200 compressor. Now this car is powered by a 2 liter motor that puts out 120 kilowatts with a 0 to 100 time of 8.7 seconds. So far this is the quickest car in the video. It sends all its power to the rear wheels via a 6 speed manual gearbox and it's going for 52,900 Rand. It has 223,844 kilometers on the clock. The reason for the green decor sticker is because the windscreen is cracked as you can see right there. It has a sunroof that doesn't work it has electric windows that doesn't work and both the front tires are smooth but it's riding on the standard 16 inch wheels wrapped with different tire brands for example this is a hand cooked tire it has a Pirelli tire a continental tire and also a momo tire like i said in one of my previous videos that i'm one of those people that believe 
all four tires has to be the same tire brand but yo this car is in great condition i don't see any scratches no dents everything lines up perfectly as you can see the bumpers lines up perfectly and the paint hasn't even faded over the years keep in mind the sunroof doesn't work like i said and this car has keyless entry and electric windows that is damaged so it has electric mirrors as well whether it works i have no idea it has a six-speed manual gearbox with full lead interior air conditioning power steering and this door is making weird noises as you can hear right there but yeah overall this is how the interior looks from the inside the driver's seat is also damaged but like i said guys this car has a two liter motor that puts out 120 kilowatts and it sends all its power to the rear wheels honestly i have to open the bonnet with two hands because this bonnet is super heavy i say okay so first things first you have to replace the bonnet shock because you have to hold the bonnet open with your hand and at least from the decra report they don't say this car has any mechanical issues it doesn't have a full service history and a fuel consumption of 8.7 liters per 100 kilometers so yeah this is another option for today you won't believe the first suv for today between 50,000 rand and 60,000 rand is a 2011 g patriot so it's powered by a 2.4 liter four cylinder motor that puts out 125 kilowatts with a 0 to 100 time of 10.7 seconds all its power are being sent to the front and rear wheels via a five speed manual gearbox and never in a million years would this land rover be between 50,000 rand and 60,000 rand maybe if it was like in some type of terrible accident and they're selling it for spares but the jeep has a cash price of 58,900 rand as you can see right here it has 217,000 kilometers on the clock and the reason for the green decker sticker is because the steering has excessive play and the rear lift tire is smooth but at least it's riding on the standard 17 inch wheels wrapped with na tires the rear wheels are wrapped with continentals it has smash and grab windows as stated on the decker report this particular tire is smooth um, as you can see right there and the jeep patriot has been introduced in 2006 as a subcompact suv so it's not like a full-on suv like the jeep grand cherokee it has these minor scratches on the rear bumper and a rear tow bar and overall the exterior is in good condition i don't see any weird dents maybe the rear bumper doesn't line up properly as you can see right there overall the exterior is in good condition and the vehicle is locked but like i said it has a five speed manual gearbox full the interior air conditioning power steering electric windows and electric mirrors it doesn't have a full service history and a fuel consumption of 8.5 liters per 100 kilometers so yeah this is another vehicle for today now guys this is one of those cars that you don't care how it looks as long as it's powered by a vtec engine that's all that matters something that we want but can't afford so guys the second last vehicle for today is this 2006 vw mark one now this little car is powered by a 1.6 liter motor that puts out 74 kilowatts with a 0 to 100 time of 10.8 seconds obviously it drives the front wheels via a five speed manual gearbox and it's going for 55,900 rand it has 188,000 kilometers on the clock and the reason for the green decker sticker is not because the door handles aren't working but because one of the wipers are missing the rear left tire is smooth and also the bonnet lever is damaged in fact let me just show you guys that all four door handles are working so the driver side door handle is working this door handle is working perfectly this wiper is missing and this left rear passenger door handle is working so all four door handles are working perfectly it's riding on these aftermarket 15 inch wheels wrapped with solid tires the rear wheels are wrapped with radial tires and honestly this car is in great condition everything lines up perfectly it has no rust no dents no scratches and even the rear bumper lines up perfectly as you can see right there but yo these wheels these wheels makes this car looks totally different and um obviously this car has no power steering no air conditioning no electric windows no electric mirrors so everything is manual it has like i said a five speed manual gearbox and i think this might be the cable to open the bonnet but yeah this car has no service history no mechanical issues at least from the decorative report and a fuel consumption of 8.2 liters per 100 kilometers so guys this is the second last vehicle for today
So the last vehicle for today is actually a car with a gold decker sticker, meaning this car will pass the road with it is without any issues. And it's such a relief that this car has a gold decker sticker because now I don't have to remember all the reasons for the green decker stickers. But basically, this is a 2000 Mazda 323. It has a 1300 motor that puts out 50 kilowatts with a 0 to 100 time of 13.3 seconds. And this car is listed at a cash price of 52,900 Rand. It has 215,000 kilometers on the clock. And guys, just look at this the lights the bonnet the fender everything lines up perfectly and it's riding on tsw wheels wrapped with tires i've never heard of before the rear wheels are wrapped with roadstone tires and this is a very boxy shape vehicle it's a very neat japanese box on wheels with a rear tow bar and it even has the original exhaust from mazda but this car is gonna be locked guys i promise uh, let's see let's see i promised and let's see so the car is locked but it has a 5-speed manual gearbox, no air conditioning, no power steering, manual windows with manual motors. It has an up-to-date service history with a fuel consumption of 8 liters per 100 kilometers. So this is the very last car between 50,000 Rand and 60,000 Rand. Guys, our bonus car for today is this BMW 850i Coupe and this car is powered by a 4.4 litre V8 motor that puts out 390 kilowatts and 750 newton meters of torque and all that power are being sent to the front and rear wheels via an 8-speed automatic gearbox and this car is riding on massive 20 inch rims obviously it has you know Michelin Pilot Sport tires but yeah our bonus car was actually supposed to be a Renault Clio RS but you know that car got sold unfortunately but man, this car looks next level. And just to think, this is not even a full M car. It has a carbon fiber roof to keep the center of gravity low. And honestly, I don't think BMW comes close to Mercedes when it comes to interior designs. But you know, build quality, I think BMW is better when it comes to the build quality. Um, it has an 8-speed automatic gearbox and obviously power steering, cruise control, voice control, all the other controls. And it has two rear seats for two rear passengers. But man, this car is next level and I have to put the car into sports mode so that you guys can hear a proper cold start. If I press this button, I'll put the car into sports mode and you will be able to hear the pops and bangs from this car. So I'm going to place my phone at the back of the vehicle so that you guys can hear a proper cold start. Now that is the sound from a 4.4 liter V8 motor and honestly we have to work harder guys because yo if you only work a regular 9 to 5 job you will never ever be able to afford stuff like this but guys like I said this car has a 4.4 liter V8 motor that puts out 390 kilowatts and 750 newton meters of torque and this car goes up against something like a mercedes-benz gt53 amg and also a porsche panamera but guys this is our bonus car for today